Today I'm going to tell you how I personally would fix the Space Marine Combat Patrol. So let's just get into it. If you've spent any time on 40k YouTube, you'll have heard pretty much everyone say what a terrible deal the Space Marine Combat Patrol is. If you live in the UK and you're buying directly from Games Workshop, you're spending £100 on 12 models. 12 models that would cost you individually £113.50. So you're saving £13.50 and 50 pence, which is not an attractive discount when you consider combat patrols that we had through 9th edition and the majority of the ones that we're getting in 10th edition. For example, the old Space Marine combat patrol for 9th edition only cost 95 pounds and you got 18 models in it, one of them being a fairly sizable tank. Individually to buy all of those kits now is 140 pounds, so if Games Workshop were to still sell that combat patrol at 95 pounds now, you'd save 45 pounds, which really makes 13 pounds and 50p look a little bit crap. As well as a lack of saving, the Terminators that you're getting in that box are the monopose ones from the Leviathan launch box, which are still great, but you know the option of having full multi-pose kits with all of the weapon options would be considerably nicer when you're spending that much money. When you actually look at what you're getting out of the box as well, the unit count is very low. You're getting two squads of five marines, five infernus marines, five terminators, and you're getting two characters, the Terminator Captain, Terminator Librarian. If you're someone who's looking to start a Space Marine army, this isn't really the box for you because you don't get a lot of interesting units to paint up and start enjoying the hobby with. And you think that Games Workshop would include a good amount of units to incentivize new people to get on board and start their collection. Another negative for the box is the lack of synergy. You've got two different Terminator characters, and only one Terminator squad to attach them to. So sure, when you are actually army building with your brand new combat patrol, you're able to choose whether you want to have the captain or the librarian, but the other one is gonna to have to run solo, and that is far from ideal. The other thing that I've not really seen discussed is that sure, it's a generic Space Marine box. Any Space Marine collector should be able to, in theory, buy that box and have a nice addition to their collection. But the thing for me is that the box is supposed to be Ultramarines just as much as it is supposed to be general space marines. To me they're one and the same, an ultramarines box should be well rounded because it fits the flavour of ultramarines but also allows non-ultramarine players to pick it up and be in a very good starting place. So my criteria for a better combat patrol box are as follows. It needs to be better value, you need more incentive to buy this box than £13.50 of savings. So ideally I'm looking somewhere in the ballpark of £40 to £50 worth of savings, like a lot of the better combat patrols in 9th edition and like quite a few of the combat patrols that have come out so far in 10th edition. Secondly, I think the box needs more unit variety. One battle line type squad and one very elite squad with two elite characters that don't even synergize with this battle line squad, I don't think that's good enough. I'm aiming to make this box generalist enough that a first time buyer can pick it up have a lot of things to be excited about and generalist enough that a long time Space Marine collector can pick it up and actually get some use out of the units that are in the combat patrol. I also want the units that are included to synergize well with the Gladius Task Force detachment for the Ultramarines, because otherwise what's the point of marketing it as the generic Space Marine box when you've got all of the Divergent chapter boxes coming out that might be more appealing? And lastly, in a similar vein, if we can make the units nice and fluffy so that they actually feel like things Ultramarines would take, that's even better. So as a quick reminder, the current combat patrol has a Terminator Captain, a Terminator Librarian, five Terminators, and five Infernus Marines. That is a total of 12 models, costing you £100 and saving you £13.50 over buying them individually. And in current rules, that is a total of 425 points on the table. My suggestion for a new combat patrol is this. You get a Space Marine Primaris Captain, a Space Marine Primaris Lieutenant, five Intercessors, five Infernus Marines, five Hellblasters, and three Bladeguard Veterans. This gives you a total of 20 models, still for £100, and saves you £45.50 over buying them each individually. And in game terms, this would get you 510 points on the table. So let's actually go back to the conditions and criteria of what makes a good combat patrol. You can see quite obviously by the number of points and by the savings that you're making, that this is in fact better value. But then again, I could make up more or less anything and it would have been better value than that box. Our second checkbox was unit variety. The current box has two characters and two squads. This has two characters and four completely different squads. So we've got variety in buckets, to be quite honest. We said we wanted it to be nice and generalist so it would be a good start to a collection, but also a good expansion for an existing collection. And I think that that takes that criteria. We've got no repeating models. All of these units are things that you could quite comfortably have two of in an army if you wanted to. I think this is definitely a 
tick box that we've absolutely smashed because if you're a first time buyer looking at this, you're getting a whole bunch of different things to get excited about that all occupy different battlefield roles. And if you're an existing collector, all of these things are things that you could probably have another one of. If you were collecting Space Marines for the first time, I feel like you could buy two of these and that would be absolutely fine. There's nothing here that you couldn't use two of in an army, but you know, if you didn't want two captains or two lieutenants, you could convert them into something else and you're still getting good value out of everything else that's in the box. We also talked about synergy for Ultramarines rules. Infernus Marines and Blade Guard don't have assault on their guns, so if you needed them to advance and still be able to shoot, you can pop Devastator Doctrine and now they can. Basically every single unit there is gonna benefit from the Tactical Doctrine being able to fall back and then shoot and or charge. And the Blade Guard veterans are gonna absolutely love Assault Doctrine being able to advance and charge. The final box was Fluff Factor. The Ultramarines are supposed to be the most well-rounded chapter of Space Marines. They're not necessarily masters of any particular style of warfare, but they're incredibly general purpose and very good at being general purpose. In this box, we've got five intercessors to make up the core of your army hold the line, put out some, some general purpose anti-infantry firepower and perform objectives. We've got five Infernus Marines that can put out volume fire to deal with hordes. We've got five Hellblasters that can put out really high strength, good AP, and if you overcharge, good damage attacks to deal with elite infantry and sometimes light vehicles. Plus the three Blade Guard for strong and very durable veterans that can get stuck in in combat against light or heavier infantry. And then I think the cherry on top of the cake is having the captain and the lieutenant. You've got two characters here that can attach to all three squads included in the box, which makes them incredibly versatile and really lets you kind of decide what you want to put where. Not to mention the fact that the captain and the lieutenant are some of the only models that can actually double up in a squad and both lead the same squad. So if you wanted to, you could put both of them with the same squad and get the benefits that each of them bring. So in my opinion, this is a really nice general purpose Space Marine Combat Patrol that you could pick up if you're a first time buyer or if you just wanted to expand with a couple of new units. It's super, super versatile, which is exactly what you want from a generalist Space Marine Combat Patrol. But I'd love to hear what you think. If you think that my box sounds fantastic, like I do, let me know in the comments and validate me. If you've thought about this yourself and you've actually got an idea of what you would put in a Combat Patrol box, Again, put that in the comments because I would love to discuss that with you, talk about the decisions that you made and why. And if you've watched this video and you're actually thinking, no, I'd rather have the existing Combat Patrol, you are crazy. You're absolutely crazy. I hope you've enjoyed this video of me just waffling for a little bit. I have been theory crafting some other Combat Patrol boxes to replace existing ones. So if you like this video, please drop a like, let me know in the comments. And that way I know that me waffling for over half an hour and then editing it down into less than 10 minutes was all worth it. And we'll be able to do it again. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching to the end of the video. I really appreciate you and have a fantastic week. I'll see you next time.